continuing with the 2010 exam paper of calculus. Let us look at the next question. This is question number two. The gradient function of a cubic graph is this. That is 6x squared. So this is a gradient function. So all this is dy by dx. So this nothing is. This is nothing but dy by dx, which is also written as f dash x is 6x squared plus 2x plus 1 and you want to find the original equation so if if you want if you have a function suppose if you have a function okay and if you differentiate it diff stands for differentiate you get f dash x and from f dash x if you want to get f of x back you have to integrate it integration is nothing but the opposite of differentiation so you get if you want to get back the original function you get uh, suppose I'll give an example suppose if you have uh, f of x is say x cube okay so f dash x or f dy by dx is uh, 3x squared okay and uh, if you want to go backwards, f of x is, uh, <laughs> so if you want to, from f of x, if f, f of x you want to go to f of x, f from f dash x, if you want to go to f of x, you integrate this function. So you have to integrate 3x squared dx, okay? And that is three times. Uh, you, when you integrate x squared, you get x cubed over 3. Okay? And, of course, you have to write the constant of integration. So, this is basically x cubed plus c. You, we write the constant of integration because when you go backwards, if this is the function f of x, uh, if f of x was, suppose, 3x squared plus, say, whatever number, constant, suppose you would take 100, f dash x would have been 3x squared. So this is the constant of integration. So I think I should have not taken this part. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, so let us go back to the question. So the question is uh, f dash x is, so let me write the question. So f dash x is 6x squared plus 2x plus 1. So if you want to find f of x from f dash x, you have to integrate this function. So that will be integration of 6x squared plus 2x plus 1 dx. Okay, so you are integrating with respect to x. So when you're integrating, so you, you can uh, distribute this to... So you can write this, what I mean is, you can write this as integration of 6x squared dx plus integration of 2x to the power 1 dx plus integration of 1x to the power 0 dx. You can distribute this, the sign of integration dx to each of this separately. So this is 6, when integrating x squared, 6 is only a coefficient, so 6 will remain 6. But when integrating x squared, it will become x cubed divided by 3. So that's, you can take it as a rule. You increase the power by 1 and divide by the same power. Plus 2x squared over 2 plus 1x to the power 1 over 1 plus c. Okay, so f of x is this function. So f of x, so let us simplify this. So this is 6 divided by 3 is 2x cubed plus x squared plus x plus c. So what we're saying is, and 1, 3 is a point on the graph. So in other words, when x is 1, f of x is 3. This means when x is 1, f of x is equal to 3. So in place of f of x, or you can put y. In place of x, I'm going to put 1. And in place of f of x, I'm going to put 3. 
So let me change color. This is too monotonous. So 3 is equal to 2 times 1 cubed plus 1 squared plus 1 plus C. So 3 is equal to, this is 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus C, which implies C plus 2, 3, 4. So what is C? C has to be negative 1. Therefore, C is negative 1. So the function f of x, f of x is, 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1. Now to just check your answer, let us differentiate this to check our answer. If, if we differentiate, f dash x would be drop the power down and decrease the power of 1. 6x squared plus 2x plus 1. And that's what the question was that the f dash x is 6x squared plus 2x plus 1. So our answer is right. Okay. Uh, let me move to the next question. Okay. Let me do one more question here. Find the area enclosed between the graph. This is the graph of y is equal to x times x minus 2 times x plus 4. So the question is, this. when you expand this, you get this. You want to find this shaded area. So basically you have to integrate. So I'll show you how to do without the calculator. And the calculator can check your answer for you. So your area would be to find between here, this to this. The answer, the answer that you'd get would be negative. Now we don't want area cannot be negative. Mathematically it will give you a negative number. I'll show you that. So you use a modulus, so area would be modulus of integration of this function between 0 to 2, or definite integration of between 0 to 2 of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x dx. So just you have to integrate, so you'll put this in modulus. So this is modulus of, when you integrate x cubed, you get x to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 minus 8x squared over 2. Modulus, the bound is 0 to 2. So let us simplify this a little. So this is uh, modulus of x to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared 0 to 2. So let me put the modulus here. Okay, so this is, so let us put, uh, when you put, uh, this is nothing but, um, when you put 2 into this, so 2 to the power 4 is, uh, 2 to the power 4 is 16 over 4 plus 2 times 8 is 16 over 3 minus uh, 4 times 4 is 16. Okay. Minus, and if you put 0, it will become 0. Okay, so you got a modulus here. You don't need to do this. You can, the calculator will do this for you. So this is nothing but modulus of 16 over 4 is 4 plus 16 over 3 minus 16. Okay, so this is a negative answer. The negative answer is only telling you that the area is under the curve, sorry, under the x-axis. So this is 16 over 3 minus 12. That's, you're putting in a modulus. So let us do this on a calculator. So you go 16 abc3 minus 12. That is minus 20 over 3. Okay, so that is 20 abc3. And if you want to change that equal and 6.666 something or 6 and 2 thirds. So the area is 6 and 
2 thirds unit squared. Now I'll show you how to do this on the calculator by just pressing some keys you can get the answer which is really wicked okay so menu run you go to option and then you go to F4 calculus and then you go again press F4 which is integration of x to the power 3 plus 2x squared minus 8x and your bound is so you put a comma here 0 comma 2 close the bracket and that's the answer minus 6.6 this minus is only telling you that the area that you're looking for is under the curve okay minus is only telling you the uh, it, it's you you have to ignore the minus sign the minus is only telling you the direction or the place where your your area is and that area is under the curve I'll do a few more questions in the next video I got one more question uh, which I wanted to, you to do it yourself and when I come back I want you to look at the question the same question it is between minus 4 to plus 2 the question is if you want to find the whole area what would you do and there's also one more question which is an excellence question uh, try to do it and I'll do it in the next video.